Next on Winning with Wisdom with Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Amen. We're never going to ask again. Because if you ask a second time, your first prayer must have been a prayer of doubt. Come on now. God don't answer prayers of doubt. He answers prayers of faith. Amen. Welcome to Winning with Wisdom, the anointed teaching ministry of Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Not one time has he rejected somebody with faith. There's going to be a release of fresh fire and a spirit of boldness so you can declare the word everywhere you go. Dr. Nasser Siddiqui teaches you biblical principles to lead you out of lack and into God's abundant life of prosperity and success. God is no respect. He never denies faith stricken with an incurable disease and then miraculously healed by the power of God. The powerful ministry of Dr. Nasser Siddiqui is equipping God's people with wisdom principles to be successful in every area of life, marriage, family, business, and more. Touching the world, touching lives, touching you. This is Winning with Wisdom with Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Hello, my friend. I'm Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. This is another edition of Winning with Wisdom. I'm so happy that you've decided to join me today as we study the Word together. Today, I'm going to continue our biblical perspective towards experiencing God's abundant life. The scripture in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 specifically says that uh, His divine power has given, bestowed, past tense upon us all things that are to life and godliness. So what are we learning here? God isn't going to give us anything. He's already given us everything. You know, there is no truck service, no freight service coming from heaven to bring to you what you need, the house you need, the car you need, the money you need. Everything you need to fulfill God's plan for your life is already here. It's not coming from heaven. So the question is, uh, Brother Nasser, how do I access what God has already given me? I'm glad you asked me that question. There are four steps to access it. Number one, you've got to know that God saw the end from the beginning. He knew your need already, and He has commanded that harvest. It's appointed and set in order, waiting on you. Number two, You've got to believe this by faith and you've got to be a doer of the word. Number three, you've got to know that the Holy Spirit will guide you and direct you. He doesn't give you houses. He doesn't give you cars. He gives you instructions. And then number four, probably the most important, everything is governed by seed time and harvest. He said, as long as heaven and earth are here, my word is here. And as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall not cease. So seed accesses. But what have we been learning? Seed, money seed, must be given an assignment. You can't just throw money in a bucket and wonder why something happens. You've got to focus your faith and then give the seed that the Holy Spirit directs you. Now you're giving your seed an assignment. Faith is like an arrow. Unless you point it at something, it doesn't hit anything. We're going to learn about seed now. What determines whether I get 30-fold on that seed or 60-fold or 100-fold? You always sow into the anointing that feeds you. That's the ground where your seed gets fertilized and causes it to grow. Faith is the yield that determines the yield on your seed. We're going to learn a whole lot more. My friend, rest assured, God has a plan to prosper you and not to hurt you. And today, we're going to find out what part of that plan you have to do. As we continue this message, we're going to experience God's abundant life. I'll have much more of that message coming up in just a few minutes. I'm traveling across the nation, sharing with partners and friends the Word of God that He's deposited in me. So join me in a city near you or celebrate. Uh, come right here to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to one of our anointed conferences, visit our website, wisdomministries.org, for more information. Right now, let's head into the Wisdom Center and join those gathered for the Wisdom Conference service. I will begin today's message, and I'll be right back to pray for you. And now, today's vital teaching from Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. And the only thing I can tell you is what she said to me, her spirit leaped on the inside. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Her spirit leaped on the inside. I was away traveling. She called me, and two weeks later I came, uh, and she brought me to this building. It was an empty building, and when I saw this building, my spirit leaped on the inside. I said, wow, is this supposed to be the Wisdom Center building? Wow, this is what I saw. This is awesome. I called a guy in Atlanta, Georgia, about the building. He said, the building is already, uh, uh, we have a guy in Tulsa, but I think the building is already sold. I called the guy in Tulsa. He brought me to the building, walked me around the building. It was exactly as you see it, carpet 
carpeted. Everything was like this. I said, wow, this is an Ephesians 320 building over and above and beyond whatever I could dream, think, or ask. I got excited. I said, I want to buy the building. And the guy says, you're too late. It's already sold. I said, what? Yep, the new owners put a large down payment. And they're closing on December the 4th. I said, oh, okay. I'm going to call you on December the 4th. December the 4th, I called the guy. I said, did the building close? No, they put more money down. They're closing on December the 18th. Well, I tell you what, between the 4th and the 18th, I took some of my prayer team. We came to this building. Sometimes you have to walk around what you're believing God for. We walked around this building. I put hands on the building. I started praying over the building. I said, Lord, if this building belongs to another ministry, I got to hear from you. But if it's for me, you got to tell me. And the Lord spoke through one of my prayer team, not me, through one of my prayer team. And here's what he said. There will be many, 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 many delays, but don't you lose heart. I've given you the building. December the 18th, did the building close? No, they put more money down. They're closing January the 4th. January the 4th, did the building close? No, they put more money down. They're closing January the 18th. Whoa. Uh, January the 18th, did the building close? No, they put more money down. They're closing in February. February, I called. They're closing in March. All through March, I'm traveling. At the end of March, my secretary calls me in Michigan where I'm doing a conference and says, Brother Nasser, you're not going to believe this. The man called about the building. I said, what did he say? He said, tell Nasser. Come get your building. Now listen, listen. I, I'm teaching you on immovable. Immovable. Remember that word? Everybody say immovable. So I got back. I, I put an offer together. Sent it to their attorney in Tulsa who sent it to the Colonial Trust Company in Phoenix, Arizona. Gave them five days to accept my offer. They ignored me. Didn't want nothing to do with me. I, I said, Lord, what am I doing wrong? He said, you made the offer too low. I went to my attorney, made a second offer. Sent it to the Colonial Trust Company in Phoenix, Arizona. Gave them five days to accept my offer. They ignored me. Wanted nothing to do with me. I said, Lord, what am I doing wrong now? He said, your offer is conditional on financing. Go to the bank and arrange the money. I went to my bank manager. I said, you know me. I'm Dr. Siddiqui. I want to buy a building. Oh, no problem. Give us your annual statements, your profit and loss statements. We'll be happy to do that. One month later, they called me in and turned me down flat. I said, why are you turning me down flat? Well, first two years, you didn't do so good. I was going to Bible school. The ministry has exploded. Yeah, but listen, uh, uh, we don't count your ministry in Canada. And not only that, we checked you out. You and your wife got bad credit. I said, what are you talking about? We don't owe a penny on credit cards. Don't owe, don't owe a penny on our cars. We don't owe a penny uh, on our home. We owe no man anything but to love him. And guess what he said? That's right. No credit is bad credit. True story. So I said, huh, enough of you. I'm going to the next bank. I went down the street to the next bank. They took two weeks to turn me down flat. I said, huh, enough of you. I'm going to the third bank. Third bank took one week to turn me down flat. I said, enough of you. I'm going to the fourth bank. Right here in this city, I went to the fourth bank. They took one day to turn me down flat. Now the banks don't want to talk to me. The trust company don't want to talk to me. Nobody want to talk to me. What do you think I did? Took my wife, went to the Bahamas. What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> not my problem, his problem. Not my ministry, his ministry. I'm not going to carry this. Miles Monroe invites me to come do a conference for him out there. And then he convinces my wife to stay a couple of days after the conference. Here we are. The conference is finished. We're on the white sandy beach in the Bahamas. Oh, the sun is shining. The water is clear. We're having a great time on the beach. And I hear a voice right in here. And the voice says, Call Gene. I said, Gene who? He said, I don't know. He spoke at Rama and he's in banking. I, I, I ran to my room. I called the office. I said, uh, 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 I heard the voice of God on the beach in the Bahamas. He said, call Gene. And my secretary said, Gene who? I said, I don't know. Find him. And she did. The next day she called back and said his name is Gene Dillard. He's a, a chairman of Citizens Bank. I said, you give him all my papers. You tell him I got to see him when I get off the plane. I got off the plane, went to see Gene. I said, Gene, listen here now. Four of the biggest banks in the city have turned me down flat. But let me tell you why. Didn't count uh, my ministry in Canada. Held it against me because I went to Bible school. And you know what? They held it against me because I owe no man anything but to love him. You ain't going to do that, are you? 
He said, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. Give me three days. Now, this is the way God works. In those three days, while he's checking me out, the Tulsa Tax Department comes to this building, assesses this building at $1.4 million, sends Colonial Trust Company a back tax bill for $19,000. It used to be a church, but now it's owned by a for-profit corporation. So they want their taxes. Every day they keep this building, they're going to have to pay thousands of dollars in taxes, they are motivated to talk to me. So now we start negotiating back and forth. I get approved, and here I am about ready to sign the papers. And just as I'm about to sign the papers, my wife says to me, Honey, yeah, we ain't going to do this. Why not? God told me if we'll wait, they'll drop the price again. Thank God for godly wives. We waited two days, and they dropped the price another $20,000. We got a $1.4 million building for $350,000. Somebody shout, praise God. Praise God. Remember, let me, let me backtrack now. Watch, watch. How did it happen? Go right back to January. Bzzz, January the 4th. Uh-huh. Did the building close? No, they put more money down. They're closing on the 18th. Between the 4th and the 18th, I went to a conference just like this. Brother Copeland's minister's conference. And you know what? Here we are and the minister's conference, three days, and they're about to take an offering. I said, Lord, uh, 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 what shall I sow? And the Lord said, what harvest do you want? And I wrote on my envelope, Wisdom Center Building. It looked impossible because someone had already bought it. But how many of you know nothing is impossible with God? And so I wrote that on my envelope. I said, Lord, now I got the faith. I got the faith. I got the faith, but I know if I have all that faith for this building, but if I don't sow the right seed, I will never see this building. Please, Lord, direct me. What is the right seed that matches my faith? Mm. I prayed, and the Lord gave me a figure. It was so big, I fell off my chair. True story. I climbed back up on my chair. I turned to my wife. I said, honey, did God tell you what to sow? She said, uh-huh. I said, is it big? She said, uh-huh. I said, how big? She said, $10,000. Guess what was the figure God gave me? Ten. How many of you know there's only one Holy Ghost? Come on now. If husbands and wives are pray, God's not going to give you three different figures. Amen? She had the same figure. I had the same figure. Now, I'm trying to save money to buy a building. $10,000. I want to hang on to buy the building. But how many of you know God can do more with 10000 than you can? Amen. Always obey God. He's not trying to take something from you. He's trying to get a blessing to you. We wrote the check. Listen carefully to what happened. I wrote the check, put it in the envelope, walked up to Sister Gloria Copeland. Give me your hand. Put the envelope in her hand. And I said, Sister Gloria, you and your husband been feeding us the word for three days. It is right for us to sow into the anointing that feeds us. Why? Because that anointing is going to cause my seed to grow. Amen? And we know that. We will never mock God and then wonder why God don't bless us. Now I said, Sister Gloria, we're believing God. Uh, she said, what are you believing God for? I said, the Wisdom Center building. And this is the prayer that she prayed. She said, Father God, I release my faith with Nasser and Anita. She had no idea the amount of the check. That was irrelevant. I release my faith with Nasser and Anita. The Bible says we're two agree touching. We're touching the seed right now. We're two agree touching. It's done by our Father in heaven. I release my faith with Nasser and Anita for the wisdom center building that they will receive a hundredfold return hundredfold. See, her faith was already there. My faith was already there. Hundredfold return on the seed. Then she said, we are those peculiar Christians that believe, duh. We receive, duh, when we prayed, duh. Mm. Are you getting a hold of this? Then she took the envelope and she said, thank you, Lord. We call it done from this moment on in Jesus' name. Now watch, watch, watch. Had I written on the envelope the harvest that I wanted? Everybody shout, yes. yes. Had, had, had I prayed and asked the Lord what to sow? Everybody shout, yes. yes. Is my faith high? Everybody shout, yes. yes. Was my seed ready to match my faith? Everybody shout, yes. yes. Even though it was a much bigger figure than I planned to sow, did I obey God? Yes. Did I release my faith and receive my harvest when Sister Gloria prayed over my seed? Yes. Everybody with me so far? When did I get my building? When I? 
First bank turns me down and says, we ain't going to give you the money. Guess what I did? Hung up the phone. And as soon as I hung up the phone, guess what I said? Thank you, Lord, for my building. Mm. Second bank turns me down. Thank you, Lord, for my building. Third bank, fourth bank. Every negative thing that happened, every situation around me that could have got me in doubt, guess what I said? Thank you, Lord, for my building. Why? I didn't get my building when they gave me the key. I got my building when I... And now I was immovable. Nobody could have kept this building as long as I wouldn't get into doubt. Why? Because I had released my faith over my seed. We got a $1.4 million building. Listen to me now for $350,000. Gloria Copeland, I'm going to pray Gloria Copeland's prayer over your seed tonight. Get ready. Those of you watching on the internet, I'm going to pray her prayer over your seed tonight. Get ready. Do you know what prayer she prayed over my seed? Because my faith was already at a hundredfold. She prayed that her faith for a hundredfold would match my faith for a hundredfold. Do you know what a hundredfold of $10,000 is? One million. You know how much this building was appraised at? 1.4 million. You know how much we bought it for? $350,000. My first million dollar harvest. Somebody shout next. Yes. You remember those four banks that turned me down? You know why they turned me down? They said, in 30 years, you ain't going to pay us back. 11 months to the day. On the 10th month, I had got it down to $35,000 owing on this building on the 10th month. And I said, Lord, I want to get this thing out of here. He said, sow a seed. And I was in a meeting like this. I sowed in the measure I wanted to receive. 28 days later, an extra, everybody say extra, extra 35000 showed up. And by the 11th month, this building was totally debt free. Somebody shout next. next. Why? I had built my faith till it was at the point where I could now release my seed for a hundredfold return. And since that moment, I would not be moved. Are you getting a hold of this? When you have immovable faith, mountains have no choice but to move. My brothers and sisters, how many of you are ready to have some mountains move for you tonight? Come with me to Luke 6.38. We're about to close. Luke 6.38. Look at what it says in Luke 6.38. Hallelujah. Luke 6.38. I got all off my notes, but was it worth it? Amen. Man, I tell you what, when God takes over like that, you know something is about to happen. And he took over tonight. Luke 6, 38, we're going to give our seed an assignment. We learned that tonight. We're going to give it an assignment. Luke 6, 38, once you're there, say amen. amen. Give, and what happens when it's given to you? Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall? Amen. Some man got my building, but they had to let go of it because my faith wouldn't move. And I had sowed the right seed. Amen. And what happens? Jesus said, the measure you give determines what? The measure that comes back. How easy it would have been for me, Poncho, to sow $100 on that day to Copeland. How easy it would have been for me to sow 1000 on that day and walk away from my first million-dollar harvest by not obeying the Holy Spirit. Amen. Took faith to sow a $10,000 seed. But guess what? You're in the building that faith built. Hallelujah. It's faith that got this building and the right seed. Because the faith caused the seed to grow to 30, 60, and 100. And we got a $1.4 million building for $350,000. Are you getting a hold of this? Why? You can have the right faith, wrong seed. Nothing will happen. Right seed, wrong faith. Nothing will happen. But if your faith has been built up tonight then you get ready to obey the Holy Ghost. For the measure you give determines the measure that comes back. Amen. 
Never got my harvest in hundreds till I sowed in hundreds. Never got my harvest in thousands till I sowed in thousands. And never saw my first million dollar harvest till I sowed my first $10,000 seed. And I've sowed a whole lot more than 10,000 since then. We have six figures of seed in the ground. Why? Because we know how to operate in a movable faith. My friend, God has given you all things and wants you to experience His abundant life. The Word clearly says nothing is coming from heaven. It is already here. But you've got to do those four things. You've got to believe the Word. You've got to know that it's commanded. And, of course, you've got to listen to the Holy Spirit for the direction of the seed that will bring that harvest into your life. It is so, so important that you get a hold of this. If you, uh, if you know the four steps and you become a doer of the Word, now you act what has been placed on planet Earth for you all the time. Nothing is coming from heaven. The house you need, the car you need, everything you need is sitting on the Earth right now. My brothers and sisters, there is so much of this teaching packed into this six CD series, Experiencing God's Abundant Life. It is yours for a ministry love gift of $30 or more. In this series, you're going to discover how to access all things, decree, bind, and loose what you need, make yourself an ark, living the good life, and much, much more. Invest in yourself today. Call the toll-free number, write to me, or you can order online, wisdomministries.org. Here's my announcer to tell you more. As Christians, we are supposed to be living the good life, which God prepared and made ready for us to live, according to John 10, 10. During economic crisis, mortgage meltdowns, credit crunch, or recession, God's abundant life is still available. So when you pray to God, don't ask God to give you anything. Ask God to show you how to get it. He gives instructions. He's a revealer. Amen? And Dr. Nasser Siddiqui's anointed new six CD teaching series, Experience God's Abundant Life, you'll discover how do I access all things, how to decree, bind, loose what you need, and much, much more. To order your copy, Experience God's Abundant Life on six CDs, call toll-free 1-888-947-3660 or write to Wisdom Ministries or click on wisdomministries.org. It's available for your love gift of $30 or more. And you'll also receive your free copy of Dr. Nasser and Anita's Wisdom Magazine's Miracle Edition. Order today. Wisdom Ministries is dedicated to reaching people, changing lives, and equipping God's leaders. We've been reaching the world with biblical wisdom principles for success for over a decade. We are looking for thousands of partners to help us reach millions of people all over the world. You can help us with this task by becoming a covenant partner. Wisdom Ministries is equipping God's leaders with wisdom. Visit our website and become a covenant partner today. Join Dr. Nasser and Anita Siddiqui for our next Wisdom Conference, Friday and Saturday, February 11th and 12th at the Wisdom Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The enemy is trying so hard to disrupt marriages in the churches today. Not, not only in the churches, but even in the leadership of the churches. How to have a successful marriage. This marriage should be heaven on earth, not hell on earth. Hello, somebody. Experience a conference full of teaching, worship, prayer, and impartation. Friday and Saturday, February 11th and 12th at the Wisdom Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is when you get knowledge on how to be a godly husband and a godly father, a godly mother and a godly wife, guess what? You will experience heaven on earth. You don't want to miss this life-changing event. My friend, you need to understand uh, that the will of God always has been for you to experience God's abundant life. This six CD teaching series will provide you with practical steps and biblical principles for experiencing God's abundant life. It's yours for a ministry love gift of $30 or more. Order your copy today. Now, I want to talk to you. In the book of Acts, Acts 10, verse 1, uh, there was a man called Cornelius, and he had an encounter with an angel. And in verse 4, it says, 
And he, gazing intently at the angel, became frightened. What is it, Lord? And the angel said to him, Your prayers and your giving, your seed, your alms to the poor have come up as a memorial before God. Well, when I studied this out, here's what I found out. In Acts 10, 31, it says, And he, the angel, said to Cornelius, Your prayer, uh-huh, has been heard and hearkened to, and your donations, your giving, or your seed, uh-huh, to the poor have been known and preserved before God, so he heeds you and is about to help you. Prayer mixed with seed move the hand of God. A lot of people just praying and are praying and are praying and nothing happening. Why? They never attach the corresponding seed. What need do you have in your life? I'm going to ask you to ask the Lord right now. What seed should you sow now as you've been blessed with this teaching? Galatians 6, 6 says that if you've been blessed with the Word of God, sow into that anointing. It's that anointing that causes your seed to grow 30, 60, 100 fold. Have you been blessed today? then you ask the Holy Spirit what to sow. The measure you give, Jesus says, determines the measure that comes back. Hundreds produces hundreds, thousands produces thousands. You obey the Holy Spirit and sow your seed. That is the fourth and final part to access all things that God already wanted to give you. You pray as we now are going to uh, pray together over that harvest. As you release your seed, I'm releasing my faith with yours. I thank you, Lord. Mm for the word that you taught us today. I thank you, Lord, that to seal that word into our hearts, we have to become a doer, not a hearer only. And as we sow the seed into the anointing that's feeding us, I thank you, Lord, that I release my faith with those present for the seed that they're sowing, for the 30, the 60, the 100 fold, as they have believed, so shall they receive. I thank you, Lord, we're children of prayer. We actually believe we receive when we pray. We seal it with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. If you enjoyed this broadcast, go to our website, see the whole teaching in its entirety, and get the latest teaching downloads for free. Information on Wisdom University, plus our previously archived services, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Wisdomministries.org. Thank you for joining me today. This is Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Uh, I will see you next week, Winning with Wisdom. And don't forget, tell a friend. Make your plans to join Dr. Nasser Siddiqui for a life-changing time together in a city near you. Wisdom University Online offers the opportunity for individuals to start or finish their undergraduate, graduate, or doctoral degrees at a reasonable cost. Wisdom University is accredited and accepts transfer credit from colleges, universities, Bible schools, and institutes. Wisdom University Online offers courses that are 100% Word and only the Word. Sign up now for our featured courses. Wisdom University Online, taking your dreams to your destiny. Experience anointed teaching in a conference full of financial empowerment and healing with Dr. Nasser Siddiqui. Somebody believed it, somebody spoke it, mountain showed up. If you believe it and you speak it, mountain gotta go. The reason your harvest hasn't come is because you haven't yet celebrated. Hosted by Pastor Frederick Price Jr. at Crenshaw Christian Center in Los Angeles, California. January 30th through February 1st. Join us again next time and tell a friend to watch Winning with Wisdom with Dr. Nasser Siddiqui, Tulsa, Oklahoma.